Well guys, this is the final review. It's pretty much 98% complete, I'd say. But the outside is pretty much done. Inside here, we have the propane inside, stored inside here, which has no propane inside there right now. But that's where the original propane tank is inside. We got a Cummins generator on board. Also upgraded the, the 30 amp plug right here. So I could be able to remove the hose instead of the one that was uh, hardwired in there. Other than that, it's pretty much done. I'll show you guys what's going on on the inside. This side, basically what we got is, got the Lippert Step. This is one of my favorite upgrades. You just pull it down like that, the Lippert Solid Step. A lot better access. Inside, this is a 24 footer. We did change the door to a newer style. All right guys, and here is the interior. Dinette came out of a 2021 Forest River. Inside over here, we got vinyl planks throughout the whole entire floor. We got a new door. We got our TV hookups. Got a little uh, piece that just extends and gives you more table space. Over here, this is a cutting board, which basically once you remove it, you can set it aside over here and you got a nice sink. As well as on the sink, you could add a, it's like a little tray that just goes here like this. This is a nice sink. The sink is uh, from Amazon. We got all new appliances. So this range, new, we got a new microwave. We did a little bit of uh, tile backsplash, but this thing has a queen bed. This folds down into a nearly a double bed and another queen bed up on top right here, which I still have to uh, basically secure it because I'm gonna have my kids sleeping up there. So there's gonna be a kind of a guardrail over here. Uh, over here, we got a brand new Norcold fridge. Brand new. It runs on propane and it runs on uh, 110 on AC. Electronics basically original, other than I did convert, uh, upgrade the 12 volt converter. Over here, we have a nice little bolt style sink mirror in the bathroom Dometic 320 toilet it's my favorite upgrades almost like a residential style we got all new shower with the new shower head and this is the rec pro shower door what's nice about this door is uh, doesn't let any water through you don't have to deal with the curtains and once it's open it is completely out of the way because it rolls back inside here plenty of cabinet spaces up on top over here it's a nice little unit I think 24 footer was probably one of my favorite sizes easy to maneuver this folds down really simple with this new mechanism that they came up with all you do is just push in this little tab right here and it folds down right here and you put those cushions right in the middle and it's about 75 inches from head to head head to toe so plenty of room and i'll also be having a new uh covers on the seats and that's about it guys and over here we got the new graystone range got the 12 volt light it's a three burner to light it you just twist it and then you just add a spark and it lights it up it's a really nice range plus we got a it came with the graystone uh range vent and uh just the amazon microwave basically just fits right in over here also from amazon we got the nice flexible kitchen faucet 
This is more storage in here, plenty of storage in there. Also upgraded the thermostat to a digital style. Right now it's blowing heat, running the propane furnace. But that's it guys, that's pretty much it for this motorhome. Hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys think. Still little bits of here and there to finish up, but overall it's pretty much done. guys this will be the last video on this one that's it for the reveal full remodel total in cost i'd say about thirteen thousand, and with everything the motorhome all the parts labor well the labor was on me but everything all in total guys thirteen thousand, which is not too bad considering on the inside everything is brand new so stay tuned guys for what's next to come more projects. Uh, have a good one.